Really early in a run, if you uh, have to redo something, that's like, now nah, just reset. Seven. Gotten two of those today now. It's the one thing that can easily be said about this game. It doesn't lend itself to good commentary. Because after a while, you're just kind of stuck with, yep, we're still racing the game. So I'm very open to suggestions on that from you guys out in chat. actually focus on keeping up with. I see that Tyler types something and I have no idea what it is right now. Unicycle puns? You might have inflated expectations. There's too much pressure on that. I'd rather not tread on that topic for too long. This game's just like riding a unicycle. Once you've learned to play it, you kind of know how it's done. Alright. Pretty sure doing rolls 
doesn't hurt your air speed or height. I think twists might hurt how high you go in jumps. There we go. So depending on where you do twists and how tight you think a, a jump up a wall is going to be, you don't want to get like a Mega Man X2 crash the bikes in here again. We don't make the jump off the big ramp. Again, keeping the seat down towards the arrows just in case I hit them. Give me a little extra distance. Cab rides a unicycle during the run. Someone would need to actually provide me with a unicycle. I've never actually rode a unicycle before. And let's not lose Looper this time. <laughs> Loops, it is actually still possible to skip even though there's no little lip on the end. It's, it's a little trickier. That's a good example of the rich getting richer in this game. Um, I didn't have as much speed, so I didn't get as much height off the ramp. So I couldn't do as many stunts in the air, and Goldwyn kind of caught up an awful lot. Long jump, one twist. The mega jump. Buying a unicycle. <laughs> does seem like one of the weird things I would have. Though. There's two courses like this, uh, this one obviously, and then Twin Peaks, which is basically this two giant jumps. And in both of them, uh, the computer is really good at doing stunts. It just comes out of nowhere. Someone keep a lookout on this to see if there's any sort of like track record or anything like that appearing at the top of the screen. Stunt tracks.
Oh, we didn't get it. At the last minute, I thought, wait, is this going to be it? I think there might be one more. Oh my god, get... Th I really don't want to dump the stunts. It's part of the game. If it becomes a thing for marathons to cut it out, fine. But I really don't want to do that. It's the same thing as saying, let's play Mario 3, but cut out the auto-scrollers. Let's take something that's like an inherent part of the difficulty of this game and just throw it out. I guess we could do Shuffler, because that's where the loops are. Are there any loops in Walker? Sure the arrows are smaller than doing stunts, or they're slower than doing stunts. Oh, get jump. This one, like, it feels like you should be able to save a second there if you can fall through. I'm not sure about that, just from all the speed you lose.
<laughs> What's up, ellipsis? Buckshot, it was 36 minutes and change for the five courses I was talking about earlier. And I haven't played most of them in a long time. There were, I think, three or four redos in there. So you can probably get that under 35 easily. That's what I'm thinking of for the GDQ submission. And again, like we were already saying in there, Hopper... I'm not tied to Hopper at all. That's the one I think has the most potential to kind of get switched out for something else. And we're already talking about figuring out whew, where the loop skips are. Which course is this? Shortcut. I think it's Shortcut. I forget what this course is. I know what it is, I just forget its name. The bad execution on the shortcut. Take that! feels like the least climactic. Like you just kind of shoot him with an arrow or poison dart. I don't even know. Maybe Shuffler is the course, just for skipping loops. Wario Paint, I like the name. It has Hairpin Hill. I, this isn't a bad course to show off, or a set of courses, I guess. Cup? I don't know what we're calling these. Murder. That's the only re that that jump right there is basically the entire reason I picked Hopper. Not even gonna pretend like it is. Buckshot, I'm gonna like talk a lot of shit now and again about this game and a few other things. Don't take any of it personally, please express ideas. I am not the be all and end all of speedrunning by any stretch. In fact, I'm I'm not even like the B half. This game is ridiculously silly, but that's why we love it. It's just fun. It's Uniracing. It's unicycles racing doing flips. This game's stupid. It's amazing.
What we need is we need a uh, buckshot Adams to get in on this Nest Superstars action. Why are you joining the uh, the thing? Oh, that this is another argument for actually keeping Hopper in. This is probably the hardest stunt course because you have to get 400 points. I think the Flip City is worth the most at 64. thing. Is there anybody here who has an invite access besides me to the Discord? Just like tweet at me for it later, and then I'll find it. So I'm obviously doing a time attempt here. This should be East. Trouble going east last time? I think that's what it was. Yeah, I think there was a jump that I tried to do a couple of times. I need to not go for a second roll on it, even though it feels like it's a huge jump. It might be here. Yep, that was it. And now we're fine. Just a minute. Thank you. Yo, East. Someone give me the note for later. East record. Or at least I, I might have only matched the PB, but I was certainly at the top of that board there. God, that jump. Oh my god, that jump. I don't get to do it again.
That wasn't very nice. twist. Oh, this is Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks, for whatever reason, I feel like it's the hardest course. The computer just always decides it wants to win. There he is. This is what happens. You'll be doing fine the whole race and all of a sudden that happens. I kind of wish I knew what triggered that. me if I'm actually commentating this nonsense that, you know, I have to ex actually explain the break at the start. You can do it at any point in time, but it's very useful at the beginning of a race and everybody does it. Um, you hold the break, you hold the direction you're going to start the race, and you get that extra speed boost. You can also use that any time to basically get a speed boost from a standing start.
Some bro Senshi level puns might work nicely. Small cut. That's right. Sometimes you just need to see the track to remember it. Doesn't save that much time at all, actually, to go to that bottom path. Literally coming to a full stop to make sure I got it. Oh, I really thought I was about to bounce up to it. That one just scares me. I don't know what just happened. I legitimately do not know what just happened. <laughs> Sometimes the game just doesn't want you to win. Oh, there you go. Hey. We made it. We're no longer lost in time and space. Last one. Opening that up for myself for later to remember to go hunt that down.
somehow in there. tried. Probably eat some stuff. Don't give up on the whole being alive thing. Alright, can we get the glib? We got one glib. We got two glibs. We got three. The game thought about it. Complete with the sound effects.
<laughs> you do not want to be the losing unicycle. Wow. That's cheating, sir. Hmm. Eric, did you see that in the Yeti shop, there's actually a pin now with the text box, I am Error? <clears throat> Clever use of game mechanics, indeed. It's just hitting checkpoints. That track, for whatever reason, they didn't put a checkpoint anywhere else in the race. There's just those two. So all you have to do is get those two and you're in. Alright, back to actually focusing on this for a minute. Because this is effectively hard. I already have Boo open for... Speaking of clever use of gaming mechanics. You actually don't even need to touch that last gate. There's like another one that's higher up that the game gives you. I just forget exactly where it is. And I know that if you do touch that gate, you're fine. course is otherwise silly. Sometimes you just gotta go with the classics. Pull an Ultros. So here's some courses I have not played in a very long time. That said, I kind of remember these courses in general as being relatively easy. Problem's gonna be, we're gonna find out just how long it's been. track ending. You have a lot of time to just sit around and do twists. Got the clip. I don't know if that's officially a clip or not, but I'm gonna call it one. What's the problem with getting too much airtime here. 
closer than I thought it was going to be. Should have quit the moment I didn't get over that thing. The thing is, any of one of these courses that has a big jump into a wall like that, there's a little bit of a mindset of can I just like not get a very high jump out of it. I want a little bit of speed just to get down there faster. To like immediately go away so you don't get a very high jump. Like right here, don't do anything so you don't get a high jump there. Some speed at this. This is the speed. This is the only speedway. Zipper. Second on this guy to basically a high jump.
minus zero. In the game, I like to think that Goldwyn's just tired. Okay, we might have just screwed up. I think we're good. These tracks may cause motion sickness. Sometimes it's best to just get out of a bad situation. So rarely happens that you actually break out of a loop like that. Behind 
not insurmountable, but this is mundane. So I think the anti uni is actually not as fast as gold. How I got that far ahead in the loop. Not gonna complain. So it's every time that you basically come into contact with the anti something weird happens. So if you can just prevent that from happening, you're good. So now we spent like three minutes on that track. You get a break. Hard to see the numbers, but I'm pretty sure I have a 316. You only need like 245. And I wanted to cut the hour. So and check hamster off on the list for later. Didn't get the jump. You can make that jump. You can see uh, the computer having some trouble there with those jumps, which happens. Those jumps are stupid. something it's almost worth eating a little bit of time just to take a jump in but it slows you down as you go further to the side Apparently it was 111. 56, so it's still a 10 minute PB. My boy Carlo. Apparently with the 59.35. But this will still make a nice highlight. Little work here, we can cut the 59. I like that we have a film deal sign. Title defense soon. Still disturbing. <laughs> 